segment, our reporter Zoya Thomas checks out interiors and exteriors that denote peace and tranquility. Let's take a look. take a look at the Maytool house which belongs to the Ram Kumars. We are going to check out their front veranda as well as their drawing room. Simple and elegant, that's what it's all about. So let's take a look. The green lawns and a simple veranda, that's what makes up the Ram Kumars space of tranquility. A stone path leads up to a montage of greenery. The veranda has a simple wooden bench and minimalist use of artifacts to balance it with the outdoor. Peace of mind. That's what I feel when I walk in the Ram Kumar's veranda. From their morning newspaper to the evening tea to even brushing their dog's hair, the Ram Kumar's come right here when they want to enjoy some peace. When we go into the drawing room of the Ram Kumar's, which is connected to their veranda, you again get to witness simplicity and elegance at its best. The couches and the drapes have been picked up from some of Chennai's best interior stores. These are special couches imported from Italy. The idea was to have a comfortable place for all, as Mrs. Ramkuma herself puts it. I wanted the living room to be very simple uh, and very convenient with minimalistic furniture where people could even put up their legs and relax. So what I had in mind was huge comfortable sofas where people can really relax. What's more, the house has been completely done by the Ramkumas themselves without an interior designer. I am sure you had a good time watching today's Room for Change segment. But if you think you have got the right interiors at your home, all you got to do is write to us at ndtvh at ndtv.com. I repeat, ndtvh at ndtv.com. We'll come to your home and if we think that you have got the perfect interiors, then your home will be featured in our next show. Clearly evident in that home there when you design it yourself that personal touch is there. Definitely. Well, if you've had your relaxation time uh, looking at those beautiful interiors, 